Three, two, one. Hello, I'm student meteorologist Juno Sudis here with your CNET evening update for Tuesday, December 9th. Take a look at our temperatures for tonight. We can see that the temperature will be about 32 degrees outside, uh, just about freezing uh, about there, maybe a little bit higher, maybe a little, little bit lower throughout the night. Uh, we'll be slightly overcast outside and very, very windy, about 15 miles per hour out of the northwest, thanks to the winter storm Damon out to our east. Uh, if we look at tomorrow, not much of an improvement as far as almost all conditions. It gets uh, one degree warmer and during the day. It gets even cloudier and even windier with winds being about 20 miles per hour out of the northwest. Take a look at our current temperatures as of about 4 o'clock today, Tuesday. We can see they're about the same all throughout the Commonwealth. We have 41 here at State College. A uh, pretty good array um, throughout here, uh, mainly lower 40s. If we look at our whole entire northeast of our country, not much else uh, to talk about. It's still high 30s, low 40s throughout most of the entire thing. Uh, temperature isn't much straying from 40 degrees in this area. Take a look at our radar for the moment. We see uh, winter storm Damon out here creating some precipitation, some liquid, some uh, snow up there a little bit uh, to our north. Um, most of it's not hitting much of the Commonwealth, at least to the west. As you can see, that it, the cutoff is right about Harrisburg, Williamsport. Anything west of there, not getting much. Anything east of there, you are getting quite a bit of precipitation. If we zoom out a little bit, we can see it, how it's affecting the northeast of our country. Uh, New York, Boston, that sort of area getting the worst of it. Uh, but we will be getting a little bit more of it as the week progresses. Now we'll go to the uh, isobar chart. As you can see, these are uh, lines of pressure here. Closer together they are usually means the higher the winds are. As you can see, these are pretty close up here, thus resulting in wind gusts of possibly up to 47 miles per hour in Boston, 40 in New York, down here in Baltimore, getting a little bit less, but still 22 mile per hour gusts is quite a number. If we take a look at our eye on the future, we see that there will be a little bit of uh, snow happening throughout Wednesday into Wednesday night, um, mostly to our, the north of a Commonwealth, if anything. We do have a little bit down here in Jonestown and uh, possibly a little bit out here in Scranton, Allentown. If we continue through, we see that Thursday, uh, th the whole day, it kind of comes down a little bit towards the middle of the Commonwealth. We see a little bit here in State College, uh, a bit more south in Harrisburg, could get a little bit of it during this time. And then throughout Friday, most of it stays to the north of the Commonwealth, and we shouldn't be seeing too much south of Williamsport as far as um, snow or mix of anything. Here we see the winter warnings and watches. Purple means a watch, pink means a warn, purple means you might need to watch out a little bit. Pink means that you're definitely going to be getting a bit of snow, so you must uh, take any cautions that may be needed uh, or you find to be needed. Uh, here we are with the uh, the snow fall estimations, we have about one to three inches around the Williamsport area, slowly progressing all to, until we get even up to, up to and above a half foot of snow in the Scranton area, a little bit down in Johnston, uh, possibly a little bit of rain down in Philadelphia, but not so much as far as snow goes. Uh, if we take a look a little bit closer, there you go. Uh, temperature trend for the next seven days. As you can see, it is going to be a little bit of a little bit of a dip. We can see that 39 degrees dipping down to about 31 Friday and then slowly making its way back up to 39 on Tuesday. If we take a look at our seven day forecast, as you can see, there's the temperature drop and then rise back up on Monday. The clouds will be uh, pretty much persistent throughout the whole seven days until Monday. We may get a little bit of sun after Damon has gone away, but until then, it looks like it's mostly gonna be snow for these next seven days. Again, I've been student meteorologist Drew Narsutis. Have a wonderful evening.